Every year at the end of summer, we survey the area changes of the front of the widest 45 glaciers in Greenland. And just yesterday, we saw that the largest ice shelf in Greenland has a northern tributary that this crack has been propagating the last few years. We've been tracking it. And now this Manhattan Island-sized ice shelf fragment has broken away. And it happened during the warmest summer on record in northeast Greenland. As we survey the 45 widest Greenland glaciers, the Manhattan-sized area loss from just this one glacier is pretty abnormal. It's not usually so much that you get uh, from a single glacier. So it's a kind of a spectacular event also to occur during a record warm summer. North Greenland is the location of the Arctic's largest remaining ice shelves. And on this particular glacier, it's actually the largest remaining ice shelf in the Arctic. It's a side branch of the glacier. It probably doesn't push that much back on the ice shelf, uh, but to the extent that it does, when it detaches completely, which could happen very soon, there'll be a little less flow resistance for that glacier. And so that's really the story is the loss of a buttressing effect at the fronts of these glaciers, this kind of backward stress that balances the downward stress of the ice trying to get out to sea. Um, the more ice that's lost from the fronts, the less resistance there is, and the faster Greenland loses its ice.